Tips to reconnect with your spouse sexually. Over time in a marriage, the intimate bond between partners might diminish, even in otherwise successful unions that began with great chemistry. This decline can sometimes spark conflicts between spouses. If you find yourself in this scenario, here's some guidance on reigniting the sexual connection with your partner. 1. Cuddle with them. Transitioning from a lack of intimacy to a deeply satisfying sexual connection doesn't happen overnight. If you've been grappling with this issue, one way to alleviate anxiety is by spending quality time cuddling with your spouse during the day. Additionally, cozying up together on the couch to watch a show can help foster closeness. 2. Talk to each other. Open communication with your partner is crucial for rekindling intimacy in your marriage. Engaging in an honest dialogue where you explore the factors contributing to your current situation can provide valuable insight. It's conceivable that one or both of you are experiencing stress, or there may be unresolved conflicts impacting your sexual desire. 3. Connect with your own body. Allocating time for exercise or engaging in indoor activities is essential for physical stimulation. These endeavors enable you to reconnect with your body, potentially heightening your sexual desire and reigniting passion within your relationship. 4. Kiss each other. Not every evening may find you both in the mood for sex, yet that shouldn't hinder your connection. It's crucial to recognize that intimacy encompasses more than just physical intimacy. Nevertheless, initiating kisses can often pave the way for sexual intimacy. 5. Spoil each other. Allocate a portion of time each weekend dedicated to fulfilling each other's desires. For instance, you might designate an hour where one partner attends to the other's wishes, whether it's offering a back massage or sharing affectionate kisses. Then, plan a reciprocal time when you'll reciprocate the gesture for your spouse. 6. Establish a friendship. Developing a strong friendship with your spouse is vital for reconnection. Cultivate a deep bond by prioritizing meaningful conversations and offering friendship to your partner. Share hopes, dreams, and fears, fostering understanding and maintaining a non-judgmental attitude toward each other. 5 Golden Rules for a Happy Marriage A fulfilling marriage is the result of dedicated effort from both partners to sustain happiness in their lives. There's no mysterious formula for marital happiness, just simple principles of understanding, care, and devotion that reinforce commitment between two individuals. Below, we've outlined several golden rules for fostering a happy marriage. 1. Being opposites doesn't ruin your marriage. As two individuals with unique perspectives, a marriage naturally encompasses diverse viewpoints. However, as long as the couple values and respects each other's differing opinions, it won't adversely impact their relationship. 2. Not changing each other. Requesting your partner to change can be detrimental to a relationship. Marriage doesn't always involve two individuals with identical preferences and perspectives, differences and disagreements are inevitable. However, the key lies in respecting and embracing each other's viewpoints. 3. Forgoing compromises. Most couples are familiar with the idea that compromises are essential in marriage. However, when two individuals can wholeheartedly devote themselves to loving each other without depending on compromises, their marriage has the potential for success. Therefore, they can pledge to love each other unconditionally, regardless of the challenges they encounter. 4. Working through mistakes. Acknowledging mistakes and offering apologies represent significant contradictions in marriages. Over time, individuals may become reluctant to admit fault, preferring to uphold their pride. However, if couples can transcend ego and create a space free from its influence, this essential rule can guide them toward a fulfilling and joyous marriage. 5. Individual Lives Matter What if two individuals are united in marriage? Shouldn't they still have the freedom to pursue their individual lives? Absolutely. A couple shouldn't feel compelled to alter their entire existence and identity to fit within the confines of marriage. This sacred bond simply extends their love. 
Both individuals can continue to live according to their own preferences, pursue their interests, and express their opinions, all with the support of their partner. Effective ways to stop your spouse from yelling at you. Arguments are a common aspect of any relationship. It's often through numerous disagreements and conflicts that a couple truly finds stability in their relationship. Additionally, the frequency of arguments isn't as crucial as the willingness to admit mistakes and offer apologies. However, what if your partner becomes excessively agitated and resorts to yelling frequently? In such instances, here are some effective strategies to prevent your spouse from yelling at you. 1. Try to stay calm. It's counterproductive to raise your voice at your partner when they're doing the same to you, this only exacerbates the situation. Maintaining composure is paramount if you wish to maintain control and encourage your partner to calm down. Engaging in yelling will only escalate the argument or conflict between both parties. 2. Think about the options to deal with the situation. Given your familiarity with your partner, it's likely that you're aware of strategies to help them regain composure. While managing yelling can be challenging, it's certainly achievable. Therefore, consider potential approaches to address the situation, leveraging your intimate understanding of your partner. 3. Analyze the situation. To cease your partner's yelling, take a moment to assess the situation. Are there underlying reasons prompting their outburst? Could past traumas be contributing to their behavior? Exploring these inquiries may offer insight and aid in managing the situation effectively. 4. Don't agree with everything they say. If your partner is yelling at you, they may be inclined to assign blame for various issues. In such instances, refrain from automatically agreeing with their accusations. By acquiescing to their blame, you validate their perspective and potentially fuel further outbursts. 5. Try to calm him down. It's typical for individuals who yell to become overwhelmed by their anger, potentially losing sight of reality. Therefore, endeavor to guide your partner back to the present moment, which may help alleviate their agitation temporarily. Subsequently, engage in a calm discussion to address the situation and resolve any underlying issues. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.